My FabFitFun box arrived and I am so excited to open it. Guys, I have said it before, I swear probably in every single one of these videos, but I get so excited opening these because this is like Christmas for me. I am opening a package that while I ordered everything, I picked everything, I'm an annual member so I get to make all of my op selections and all of that, get all the options. I forget what I picked quite frequently, um, especially if it's something that came in a grouping uh, with two or three items, I typically forget what I picked. Um, this is definitely one of those cases. Now, I have got a large box here that has some weight to it. So I'm really excited to open that. Um, I know I had some add-ons. I don't 100% remember what those add-ons were either. I do know that two have already arrived. I've got this little package here that, you know what, let me set the box down. Okay, so I have got this little thing that came in a little white package. There also was another package that came, um, it came separately, it was a hair tool. It's like a $200 hair wave making tool. One of my teens wanted, it was $60 uh, to purchase it separately. She, she wanted it. So she paid for that, she's already got it. It's not part of mine, I didn't pay for it. Um, so since this came in a separate package, I'm going to open this up really quick before we open the big box. Uh, this, guys, I sometimes, sometimes I crack myself up about the things I get excited over. First of all, I didn't even know that this came in this funny little satin zipper case. Uh, but this is a lap nail kit. And when I saw it as an add-on, I'm going to admit, guys, I am 100% that person that goes on Amazon and Target and Walmart and all of those and does searches to see, is this really a good price for this? Um, I want that best price for absolutely everything. And all my years of shopping on Zulily, I can tell you not everything is actually the price that they try to tell you it is retail. Um, and Zulily is notorious for that. I love shopping on there still, but you really have to know what you're buying. And because like right now, they've got some Lego sets that I thought about getting for the kids. When on Target, they're the exact same price. I get 5% off from Target and I don't have to pay shipping. So anyhow, that's my little rant there. Anyhow, when I did a search for this, I couldn't find it. Like this doesn't exist anywhere that I could find, at least not in the descriptions I was using. So it's this little plastic thing. It apparently comes with some nail tools. Um, it's also got some paper instructions in here. But, guys, this is this is a nail tray. This is, you sit this in between your legs. It's got little nooks here to set your bottle of nail polish in. And then you can put your fingers there to paint and stuff. This is probably the most ingenious tool for a house full of girls that I have come across to date. This thing, I kind of wish I could have bought more. In fact, maybe I could have, but I didn't. Um, I wanted to make sure once it got here that it was in, that it was good too. Um, but guys, seriously, this is going to be fought over in my house. Um, I, I can't believe how silly excited I am for this little thing. And the fact that it comes with its own little carry bag. So it's even easier to pack it up. But with this many girls around, this thing is gonna be used. And I didn't even know it came with tools. I just wanted the tray. So that is awesome in itself too. It's got instructions that came with it as well. Um, it says nails on the go. That is what it's called. It's the assembly and care instructions. I mean, seriously, the assembly and care instructions are open it. Like that's it. And then close it. Um, but it's called nails on the go. And I don't even know what else is in this box. I'm silly excited over this. So now that I got that out of my system, let me crack open this box and start showing you guys everything that I got. I have to admit something. I knew I put add-ons on my order. I either ordered more than I realized or there was enough things that I selected for my box that didn't fit. Um, I'm actually going to go with the first option, but I'm going to create a pile of them here and show you guys, and then we'll break open the box. So um, if you're just here to see what's in the FabFitFun box this time without all the add-ons, you can skip forward to that. I don't know what the timing will be, but you can skip forward just a few minutes and you'll be able to catch that. But let me create my pile now and, and show you guys everything. 
Okay, so I have my pile of things that are likely add-ons. I think, I think pretty much all of them are. Uh, so running through them really quick, this is an outdoor blanket. Um, I do believe, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up here. I believe that this stays self-contained, like it rolls up. I got this because I love having things like this in our van. It fits perfectly under the seats, and you just never know when you're gonna be somewhere especially when we're traveling and stuff where we just need to stop and um, like sit out in the shade of the van on the grass somewhere to have a quick picnic lunch. Um, we have done that kind of stuff like at rest stops and whatnot. You just park right so your vehicle creates some shade. You break out. We've got a couple, we've got two picnic blankets in there already. Um, one of which I need to bring in and wash because I used it to protect my carpet recently when I bought a bunch of plants. And so it got a little dirty, um, but this is Velcro. It's got a little carry handle. So this folds up very nicely and compactly. Um, not to mention, guys, we live in the Midwest and I keep these things in my van year round because then I'm guaranteed still to have blankets in my car come winter, which is a necessary precaution. Like it is almost a requirement, not truly, but it really should be because you just never know when an accident or um, something's gonna happen and you just need that extra warmth. Your car dies, side of the interstate, because we do live in an area where uh, to get to the next major city, it's a six, five to six hour drive. Um, and there are stretches in, across South Dakota, across Wyoming, across surrounding states. I think Nebraska is the same way where you can drive an hour or two before you get to the next town that has anything open. Um, it just, we are that far apart from things. So that is always a really good idea. Moving on though, um, as my hair has been growing out, I have been um, accumulating more clips and things, not to mention all of our girls' hair is really growing out again too. So we've all been sharing and using a lot of clips, a lot of interest in that. Uh, this was a fun little three pack. Um, that I thought, if not myself, a couple of them would like. Uh, face mask applicator. This funny looking little thing. Um, just looks like silicone or nylon. This is actually for one of my daughters. It's got a little uh, spoon paddle end and then the brush bristle end. Um, she absolutely loves face masks and I thought she would probably appreciate that. Um, the Babe Lash Lash Curler. To be honest, I don't remember why I got this. Uh, I know I got one of these previously that I gave to our oldest uh, for Christmas because she is into that kind of stuff. You know, to be honest, I probably got it for the one that likes the face masks as well. Um, I have never in my life been a huge fan of lash curlers. Um, probably some traumatic <laughs> memories from when I was a kid because my mother was always obsessed with those things. Anyhow, uh, we've got some Fenty Beauty mascara. Now guys, if you have not seen this before, or notice this when it comes to FabFitFun and Ipsy and all of these things, I'm obsessed with mascara. I want to try every kind out there um, because the brushes are so different and the quality of the mascara is so different. I have a collection of mascara. I've come to realize that is my favorite um, makeup type. I mean, I yeah, I enjoy eyeshadows and stuff, but I don't wear them every day. I do, however, wear mascara. So there is that. Um, Spongel. It's a black current. Guys, I've seen these several times um, through FabFitFun and I've just never actually gotten one, but I thought, you know what? They're really not that expensive and I'm really curious because it cleanses, exfoliates, massages, nourishes, and they're naturally scented and it is very scented. It's kind of a hard spongy material but it has the scent in it already. It's the, it's like a loofah that is exfoliating. Um, actually, I really like that black current scent. Um, it does say you can get 14 plus uses. So I'm guessing that's how many uses based on the, um, cause it says it's body wash infused. So I'm guessing that's how much you get out of the body wash that's in it. So I don't know there. Last but not least, <laughs> this. Now guys, I have something to admit about this. I got the little three ring pool. This has glitter. I don't know if you guys can see it there. It has glitter inside the rings. It's inflatable. It's not huge. Um, I don't even know if it says on here just how big this is. It looks like it is 59 and a half inches wide by 15 and a half inches tall. Um, so it's not huge by any means. 
And I thought when I ordered this, I thought it would actually be something really fun for the kids. It's small enough. We can set it out on our patio if we want to put some water in it. I also think it would be really awesome to use an inflatable pool like that to put, um, like create a little ball pit, but one that's big enough for our kids at their ages because they're nine, seven, and five for the younger kids. And Mr. Moo, with his special needs, I think a ball pit would actually be huge um, and a huge hit, but the others can still use it as well. Most of the at-home ball pits that you can purchase are like six inches tall, maybe 12, um, and they're small, like one kid can kind of sit in there. So that, that's what really what this is for, because I've talked to you guys before, especially if you watch my video about the swing that we have set up, um, about creating our sensory gym for him. That's part of it. Now, I laugh because there is a company that reached out to me. I don't know if I'll be doing it or not, because I did tell them that the timing of it will just have to fall in the midst of our move. But they reached out to me after I ordered this to see about testing their inflatable pool, which actually has a seat in it. It's larger. It's this like Roman shaped inflatable pool. It looks really cool. I had the same thoughts with that. But I'm not sure I want to pay for enough balls to fill that one because it's huge. So I think that will actually be the swimming pool. This will be our ball pit. But that we'll see. And now for what we're actually waiting for, the FabFitFun Summer Box for 2022. Um, okay, I love the ice cream bar um, imagery on it. It's just fun summer colors and all of that. It's actually a decent sized box. I do need to cut the little tape circle on it though. Now, as I tilted it, I can feel things shifting in there. So we'll see here how everything's at. Uh, the inside, it's confetti looking this time. Sometimes the insides are more fun. Um, sometimes, I, they just are. It's fun to see what they do with each one. Um, now, as per usual, they've got their little uh, catalog flyer that explains all of the products that they offered this time. More stickers for the kids. And their fun polka dot packing paper that I toss to the side and yeah, use it in the garden or end up throwing it away when all is said and done. Now to go through what I got in here, because to be completely honest, I don't fully remember, um, which I've already told you guys, apparently I can't remember everything I've said. Anyhow, we have a Sonics Bluetooth speaker. Um, I thought that again, could be kind of fun with the process of moving because then I can, whoops, as I'm dropping pieces of it here, as we're moving and whatnot, it, um, it, it could be nice to be able to plug this in on a kitchen counter, um, set my phone somewhere or keep my phone in my pocket and listen to Pandora or whatever while we're packing and unpacking in those last moments when everything else is not set up. So this is actually, it's kind of a cute little, it's got the buttons on it, nice and compact. Uh, when I slid it out of the box, the charging cord, and it looks like a carry strap, were tucked in the back here with the instructions. And so those just came right out at me when I opened it. So if you get this, be mindful of that. Pieces will go flying if you're not careful. There was also um, one of the little micro pack silicone things. Let's see here. We've got a daily harvest coupon. You can get up to $40 off your first box with code, with a certain code. Um, I've actually not heard of daily harvest before. You guys can check them out. If you've tried them before, let me know down below and what you think of them. Uh, Cause I always love to hear what other people's opinions are too. Uh, pass this along to a friend who will love FabFitFun. Okay, guys, I do this in my other videos. I thought, I think previously I tried to do the whole leave a comment thing and whatnot. It just doesn't work. So I'm going to put the code up here. If you have not tried FabFitFun before, go ahead and feel free to try that code. I am betting, actually, I don't know whether this code is going to be good for one person or not. So first come, first serve. I'm sorry if you miss out. Okay. That'll give you $15 off if you are a new customer only. Um, and that is also if you're purchasing a seasonal subscription, um, which is a single box. That's not your annual. That is a single, just to give it a try kind of thing. There's a liquid IV hydration multiplier. Now guys, these are all samples and whatnot that came with the boxes. It's not stuff that I picked. Uh, the speaker was. 
Um, the liquid IV, I think we had some of this before come in and there was something in it that I decided it just wasn't something I was going to use. Um, but I ended up finding somebody who did want it that I gave it to. We have also got a truly clear, truly gone acne fighting super dust. Now, oh, I do believe I picked this one. Um, again, guys, I have multiple teenagers in my house. Um, and acne is just something that happens and they use it. various face scrubs and cleansers and scrubbers and all these things based on each of their individual needs. Um, and the same one that likes face masks, I thought this might be something that she would appreciate. So I got those. Yes, I pick half of my box for my kids. It happens. Uh, a Kayo body scrubber. I have no clue. We're going to look here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and guess that this was like one of those, um, like multi things or something probably came with the acne dots. It's, I don't know if I can show this here. Yeah, you can see all the little groupy teeth and whatnot. It's like a silicone thing. So yep, it's a body scrubber. So that would go along with body wash and anything like that. Um, just work to gently exfoliate, all that good stuff. So I've got that. Some KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. Oh yes, because um, for ingrown hairs and whatnot, it's supposed to um, help ease the skin off of those and everything. It is uh, Fab First Aid Beauty. So there is that. Um, now guys, <laughs> it's an exercise wheel that is obviously upside down. Uh, not assembled. As a kid, my grandmother had one of these and it was one of our favorite things to play with when we went to their house. We always got in trouble because we weren't supposed to touch it, but we always thought this was like the coolest thing. So whether or not I end up loving it and using it or just letting the kids play with it, it doesn't really matter. It's going to get used. Uh, there is a thing, a card in here for the Bright Cellars Wine Club. Uh, oh, more of the First Aid Beauty. Um, this is ingrown hair pads uh, with B. Oh, it says with BHA and AHA. I think BHA is some of the stuff we normally try to avoid. So I will have to look into that a little bit more. Um, I do know that uh, one of our kids really suffers from um, ingrown hairs from shaving. It's just, it's always been an issue. And um, yeah, so that is more so for them. There is this Pure Iconic Glow Illuminating Face and Body Dry Oil. I'm not sure what dry oil is. I'm sure I picked it. Um, the box is pretty cool. So there's that. <laughs> that is shimmery. Okay. So it says, let your inner light shine with this antioxidant rich face and body dry oil that's specially formulated to capture the look of glistening skin. The unique soft focus diamond powder helps you achieve a radiant shimmer without the unwanted greasy feeling. Uh, dispense into your hands, apply to the face and body after cleansing and moisturizing. Hmm. So this is what the bottle actually looks like. And I don't know how well the camera is picking up, but it is very shimmery. Uh, that'll be fun to try this summer. And last but not least, out of my fun summer box is the uh, Foxy Bay, let's say on here, it's a rose gold blowout dryer brush. Now I have a different brand. Um, I don't have the Chi one. I can't think what brand mine is. Um, but I absolutely love my blowout brush. And I thought, you know what, as much as I do enjoy it, I almost, I would kind of like to try some other brands and just see how they compare. Um, and then from there, again, I, guys, I have four, um, I can't even keep saying four teenage daughters. I have three teenage daughters and one young adult daughter uh, who is now 20. Um, <laughs> yes, I have a 20 year old daughter. And that is really hard for me to wrap my head around still. But if I decide that this is just 
identical to my other one um, and I don't need to. I have plenty of people who will appreciate and use it. So anyhow, guys, there it is. That is the summer of 2022 FabFitFun uh, box. I am an annual sub... I am an annual subscriber. I put that code up there for anybody who has not tried one of their boxes before and decides that they want to. Um, hopefully you're able to use that code and I really hope that that code actually works for more than one of you if you choose to. If you do, uh, leave a comment down below. I'd love to know who managed to snag it and what you think of it, what items you're most excited for, um, as well as those who are seasonal subscribers. Uh, you guys do get to pick your items after those of us that are annuals. Um, so I really enjoy getting to share some of the stuff so you can build some of that excitement before your box arrives um, and all of that. That is one of the things that I really enjoy. I enjoy sharing this for that purpose. Anyhow, guys, I hope that you're having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything else coming up next. And I'll see you in the next one.